In this video, I'll be talking you through exactly what a motherboard is, what it does, and why it's important, along with a run through of the mainstream options available to buy and the differences between them. We'll add some timestamps in the description below. So for instance, if you're interested in the Intel 400 series of boards, then you can skip through to that part. So first things first, what is a motherboard? Well, if the CPU is the brain of the PC, then the motherboard is like the nervous system connecting all the other components together, such as the graphics card, memory and drives, enabling them to communicate with one another. Just like with any component, you need to make sure that you choose a motherboard that's compatible with your CPU. So in this guide, we'll be focusing our attention on motherboards for Intel processors. There are three main factors to consider when choosing a new motherboard the socket, the chipset and the size. And this guide will explain what you need to consider for each. The first thing to look out for is the socket, which is where the CPU physically connects to the motherboard. CPUs are available in all sorts of shapes and sizes, each with their own socket. So it's critically important to make sure that the socket of the CPU and motherboard is the same. Now, whilst Intel does change the socket design from time to time when designing new CPUs, most current Intel CPUs fall into four main sockets. Socket 1151, Socket 1200, Socket 2066, and Socket 3647, where the number refers to the quantity of electrical connecting pins in the socket. Now, after checking the socket type, you also need to consider the chipset. The chipset determines a lot of the capabilities of the motherboard, such as the number of add-in cards, the number of memory slots and USB ports. Although many chipsets will be compatible with multiple CPUs, not all of them will allow you to take advantage of the full features of the CPU. So to strike the right balance between features and budget, be sure to pick the right chipset for your needs. The last thing you need to consider when choosing a new motherboard is the size. Size is important because you need to make sure that the motherboard you buy can actually fit in your case. Larger motherboards are beneficial because they support more add-in cards and memory, but you can still build very capable and high-performance systems with smaller motherboards. The computer industry uses code names to refer to the size of the motherboard, but the good news is that those same code names are used for the sizes of cases too. We have Mini ITX, Micro ATX, Standard ATX and E-ATX. The latest socket type is Socket 1200 and has been designed for the latest Intel desktop CPUs based on the 10th generation Comet Lake architecture. The all new series of chipsets for this socket are known as the 400 series and comprise of three levels. The entry level boards are H410 and B460, the mid level H470 and enthusiast boards are Z490. There's a useful comparison feature on the Intel site where you can compare each chipset. Here we've loaded up all four in the series now, at a glance, you might be thinking there's not an awful lot of difference between the high-end chipsets and the entry level, but get a closer look and you'll find that being built for enthusiast gamers and PC builders, the higher-end boards support things like CPU and memory overclocking with better cooling, more power stages and multiple graphics card configurations. They're also loaded with more PCIe lanes, potential I.O. ports and RAID storage options. You'll also notice that there's Intel Wi-Fi 6 on the Z490 and H70 boards. However, it's important to note that just because the platform supports it doesn't mean your board will automatically have it integrated. So do check the specs of each make and model you're looking at. And if you are going to be overclocking, you need to buy a compatible CPU with a K on the end and a suitable CPU cooler. And if you're upgrading from a Socket 1151 motherboard, it's worth mentioning that all Socket 1151 coolers should fit on a Socket 1200 motherboard. Socket 1151 motherboards support previous generations of Intel desktop CPUs, including 7th Gen Skylake, 8th Gen Kaby Lake and 9th Gen Coffee Lake, but they don't support the latest 10th Gen CPUs. Known as the 300 series of chipsets, these boards are again split into three levels to help you choose the right one for your needs. The entry-level chipsets are H310 and B360, the mid-range H370, and at the high end you have the Z370 and the Z390. As mentioned, there are many Intel CPUs that will work on these chipsets, but it's important to think about the right balance of features versus budget. Again, we've loaded them up for a comparison. Like the 400 series, the main difference with the higher end boards in the 300 series are features aimed at enthusiasts like overclocking support, I.O. ports and more PCIe lane options. Again, if you're going to be overclocking, you will need to buy a CPU with a K on the end of the name and you should also plan to buy a suitable CPU cooler and a good quality power supply. 
The 300 series is still very popular boards despite, as mentioned, not being able to support the latest 10th gen chips. So if you're looking at a 10th gen CPU and want to future-proof your system, you're going to be looking at the latest motherboards. Another common CPU socket is Socket 2066, based on the Cascade Lake architecture, which is used by two families of high-end Intel desktop CPU, Core i9X series and Xeon W. The Cascade Lake X motherboards have the X299 chipset and the Cascade Lake W motherboards have C422, which are aimed at professional users who need a multi-use PC, for example, a workstation and high-end gaming. CPUs in this class offer more cores and PCIe lanes for connectivity than the 1200 socket, but at lower clock speeds, so they're not as good for gaming but offer significant gains in multi-threaded workloads. Then the last major type of motherboard for current Intel CPUs is Socket 3647, which supports Xeon scalable CPUs, which are designed for high-end workstations and servers with many but not all Socket 3647 motherboards supporting two CPUs for mass performance. Boards with this socket are known as Cascade Lake SP motherboards and the chipsets available on these boards are C621 through to C628. These chips are only for pro workstation users. These CPUs have loads of cores but at a much lower speed, so they're not great for gaming and are very expensive versus the other platforms, but they are the best for heavily multi-threaded workloads like rendering and in large-scale servers. Scan, of course, sell a huge range of the latest motherboards from all leading manufacturers, each offering their own unique models and ranges, giving you plenty to consider. It's very difficult to advise which is the best for you without knowing your specific requirements. But if you're a PC enthusiast or serious gamer and you're likely to be overclocking and or have an SLI GPU configuration, then you need to be looking at the high-end boards. And if you want the latest 10th gen CPU, then the Z490 is a great choice for you. On the other hand, if you're a content creator and just want an upgrade to a more current, faster CPU, then you'll likely be good with a low to mid-range motherboard that supports the relevant features of your CPU. Scanner always on hand to answer your questions about which board is right for you, so feel free to contact our team. Or if you prefer us to do the hard work, then why not choose a pre-built system? You can check out our wide range of 3XS PCs by heading to the website scan.co.uk forward slash 3XS and from there you can shop by use and then by specs or features. Or if you do know what motherboard you want, then you can use our site to configure your own. I hope this video has been useful for you and don't forget we have other buyer's guides and useful videos over on our YouTube channel such as the Asus full range of Z490 motherboards video. Be sure to like and subscribe and hit the notifications button to keep up to date with all of our content.